Right, so here we are at the bubble tank, which is filled with a wonderful bubble mixture and these wireframe shapes. Uh, now, normally, when you blow a bubble, the soap film forms the smallest possible surface area to contain the volume inside it, and so you get a sphere. With these, though, we can start to do the same thing, but with some boundaries involved. So if I take this cube, dip it in the bubble mixture, when we pull it out, the soap film will attach to the, uh, the boundaries here and form the minimum surface area to connect them all together. So the, the soap film is calculating the minimum surface to join these edges. And if you then start to change it, so let's, let's take out this boundary, it will adjust to the new minimum area. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to break uh, that one, get that, maybe I'll take out, take out that one. And we have all these other shapes. You can try putting in uh, the tetrahedron over here. So if we dip that in the bubble mixture, we will get this minimum surface area. So it's linked all the boundaries together at a single point in the center. And in fact, if I remove one of these, you'll get that new minimum surface area there. Uh, actually, if I take that one out, we might even get a nice... There. Is that... A, oh, so a saddle point of some description. Someone will email me and correct me on that. Uh, and from at this point, you can you can go crazy. We've got all different shapes. Each one will give you a different minimum surface arrangement. So that's the minimum surface area for joining those edges. And if we wanted to calculate that, it would it would take ages and be a very involved uh, calculation. Whereas the soap film just relaxes straight into that minimum solution. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, and as always, I'm going to break a few of them to get a slightly more exciting surface. There we are. That is my favourite one. Okay. Uh, an interesting extra thing you can do is if you take the uh, cube frame, you put that in and you start by getting the minimum there it is, the minimum surface area uh, for the cube, you can actually make a few changes to the middle uh, by adding in an extra bubble. So I'm going to try and catch another bubble. There we go. Uh, so now I've got an extra cube. That central bubble, instead of being a sphere, because of these extra bits of soap film, its minimum equilibrium shape is a smaller cube. This particular shape is what a three-dimensional projection of a four-dimensional hypercube would look like. Uh, so there, with bubble mixture and wire frames, you can make four-dimensional bubbles, and that's, that's fantastic.